Among the footage of GTA 6 that was leaked a couple of years ago were shots of our protagonists, Jason and Lucia, kind of going through shipping containers and picking up and equipping weapons and tools. So that kind of gives us a bit of an idea of some of the weapons and tools that we might see in GTA 6. It's not a comprehensive or exhaustive list. I'm sure there are many other things that were not revealed in the leaks. And equally, some things might change name or might be dropped completely. Uh, I've gone through and I've compiled the list based on what I've seen and I missed a couple of things. So other people have, I've added those as well. Um, and I've added the names next to the image of the GTA 5 or GTA Online counterpart um, or the closest thing to it. And I've put, I've made that quite clear in this video. Um, and I'll try to go through as, as quickly as possible through the ones that seem fairly obvious. Um, and there are some more interesting ones which we can discuss closer to the end. So starting off with the pistol, this is fairly obvious. You would expect this in a GTA game. It's probably the most basic weapon in terms of a gun in the game. An assault rifle in GTA Online, GTA 5, this is what's called an assault rifle. The, but that's what it's called, just the assault rifle. And it's more of like an AK-47 sort of gun. But that doesn't mean to say that GTA 6 will also, the assault rifle will also be a an AK-47 type gun. Sniper rifle, again, might not look like this. Micro SMG, pump action shotgun, rocket launcher, a staple of GTA. You would be disappointed if this wasn't in the game. But as predicted, as anyone would predict, it seems to be in the game. Crowbar, I wonder if this will just be used as a weapon or if we can also use it for other things. That would be quite interesting. A pool cue, again, this has, been a this has been a weapon in the game for a while, but doesn't seem to ever really get used. Uh, baseball bat, knife, Molotov cocktail, grenade, uh, taser. We do have a, the stun gun in the game, but it's not called a taser. And I think if you're, a, if you're a bit of a nerd on these sorts of things, you might be pointing out in the comments right now that a taser and a stun gun are not technically not the same thing. Um... But for all intents and purposes, I've put these together because Taser might just be a, an internal name for it and it might be called a stun gun or it might be the same weapon. I don't know. Uh, we're also going to see a polymer pistol. The image here is of the WM29 pistol, which was from the kind of diehard um, event in GTA Online. Um, but I just wanted to illustrate it somehow. But polymer pistols are actual guns where the frame is made of polymer rather than steel, which means it's a bit lighter. Some, some sort of gun just called a rifle. Now, the image here is of the battle rifle. I don't know if it's going to be a semi-automatic rifle or if it's more of a hunting rifle or something. Rifle is a fairly vague term. And to be quite open, I'm not a massive gun nerd. I don't know that much about guns. I'm not American. Um, combat SMG, sort of a smaller a submachine gun that's quite agile. Um, this image is of the combat PD, PDW. Uh, heavy machine gun, this is the combat MG. I thought it was probably the closest thing to it that we have in the game. Shotgun, image of the double barrel shotgun, but th this doesn't necessarily mean it will be a double barrel shotgun, but it's different to the pump shotgun. Uh, hunter sniper, the images of the marksman rifle, but I imagine that this hunter sniper is more of a kind of wooden hunting rifle. Uh, bolt action sniper, again, this is the precision rifle. I don't know if it's going to be the same thing, but this is supposed to be a bolt action sniper rifle in the game, the precision rifle. Now I'll move on to the weapons and tools that haven't been seen in GTA Online or GTA 5 as far as I can tell. And first up, we got a spear gun which is really cool. And considering that we're going to be in Florida where there's gonna be lots of water and potentially lots of deadly creatures, this will come in handy. Hopefully we can use it on land as well. It would be quite cool to use this against some human enemies. Uh, smoke grenade, in GTA 5 and GTA Online we do have tear gas, but we don't have smoke grenades. And we're also going to be getting flashbangs or stun grenades. So those are things that we didn't have in GTA 5 or GTA Online, as I mentioned, which would be quite good. They're 
kind of staples of first person shooter games really like Call of Duty and so on. Next up, we've got a series of golf clubs, I guess. I will admit I don't know a lot about golf and I tried to understand what these all were and I can't really for the life of me work it out. But there's something called a golf wedge, which is that one on the left, uh, golf iron, golf putter and golf driver. So that's four, potentially four different types of golf club in the game. And I don't know, we do actually have golf clubs in GTA 5 and GTA Online. Not a particularly common weapon though. And this kind of makes me think, is golf going to be a big thing in GTA 6? You would sort of maybe expect it, given that golf is quite popular in Florida. Um, but are these just for golf or are these weapons as well? Um, I imagine that you can use them from, for golf because one of the things that Jason or Lucia was collecting was golf balls. We also saw them collect a Slim Jim, which is really cool because for those who don't know, a Slim Jim is basically used, it's kind of slipped down the, the side of the window of a car and then you wriggle it about a bit and you can unlock the car that way. Um, so this would be a really cool way of discreetly jacking cars. Um, at the moment, the, the only way to do it is by smashing windows unless it's already unlocked. And so if we could, if we could do it by sticking a Slim Jim down the side and wriggling it about a bit and then pulling it up and unlocking it, that would be um, a really kind of newer and more probably more realistic way of doing it and discreet way of doing it you might not get the police on you that way there's also um this was one of my favorite things in in this uh, one of the most interesting things what's called an immobilizer bypass and i've been looking at these i think they're called immobilizer bypass modules and they essentially are ways to unlock cars with electric locking electric keys without having the keys. Um, so I imagine that some cars, potentially high-end luxury cars in particular, might have to have this used on them in order to unlock them. Um, or maybe that keeps it in more pristine condition if you're going to sell it or so on. But again, another way of unlocking st or stealing cars in the game, which is really interesting and it, come, it shows we've come a long way from the just smashing the window technique. Um, there's also lockpick, which might not necessarily be used on a car, but can be used in missions, hopefully, to unlock doors and so on. Um, and there's something called a tracker jammer, which I don't really know 100% what this could be. I don't know if it's sort of a, a like a missile type missile jammer type thing like we've got in GTA Online um, or it could be a thing that kind of confuses the police potentially or confuses any enemies so it hides where you are on the map um, so they can't find you. Now this was something that I'm a bit baffled by to be honest. It's called an auto dialer. I'd never heard of one before and I looked them up online and I'm not 100% you know sold on what they actually are but Essentially, from my understanding, they are used to make automatic calls to people. They can dial a number of numbers at once and they make automatic calls. How will this be used in GTA Online? I do not know. I have absolutely no idea um, whether it's like a scam calling thing that you're doing or potentially I've got it all wrong and auto dialer means something else. I don't know. This is the only thing I could find online that was called an auto dialer, but it might be something to do with auto, obviously meaning car as well. Maybe it's something a bit different. I don't know. I'd be interesting to hear what other people think. Maybe it's some sort of device that, again, can be used to steal cars or so on. There's also something called a cutoff tool, which I've never heard them called cutoff tools before, to be honest. Um, I've always called it an angle grinder. Um, I, again, if there are people in the comments, they might be pointing out that maybe they're different things. I don't know. It looks a lot like an angle, angle grinder to me. Um, and living in London, you see these quite often because people use them to break bike locks and nick bikes. Um, but we do actually see Jason, I believe we see Jason using one of these in the leaks to open 
the chain lock on a shipping container where some of these items are inside. Um, so I don't know if whether this is a thing we're going to be carrying around with us at all times to open units and steal stuff, or if this is just going to be um, something that's used for specific missions. Now, this was something that confused me a bit. There was something called a fire bottle, and I don't know what that means. My first thought was it was a Molotov cocktail, but we already saw them referred to as Molotovs. And when I googled fire bottle, all that came up was fire extinguisher. I've never, ever, ever heard them called a fire bottle before, but it's entirely possible that maybe in America or in Florida or somewhere else, they are called fire bottles. Why you would use one in GTA, I mean, there are, there are possibilities. You could use it as a weapon or you could use it to put out fires, I guess, which is obviously the whole purpose of a fire extinguisher. If you need to kind of save yourself or um, if you need it for any sort of mission, there's a USB drive, which again could be used for lots of different things. Uh, binoculars, don't know again if this is something for a specific mission or we'll be using them all the all the time. We don't really use binoculars in GTA Online or GTA 5, but we have the a zoom function on the phone where you can take pictures and zoom in and also you just use a sniper rifle with a scope on it really, don't you? Uh, zip ties, this is something that I discussed um, in my previous video about how the robberies will work in GTA uh, 6. We see the we see Lucia using these in the leaks on some a kind of hostage during the Hank's Waffles robbery. So we kind of already knew that these would be in use. How much will we use them? I don't know. They probably will come in handy in robberies when you're taking hostages and so on. Uh, a torch. This was called a uh, torch flashlight, which I assume is just a normal torch or a flashlight if you're American. This picture here is the flashlight from GTA 5 or GTA Online. Um, there's something called a trauma kit, which I assume is like a health kit, first aid kit, which will restore your health. And painkillers too, which kind of made me in my mind think of Far Cry 2 when you're using, when you have the anti-malaria medicine um, and you have to swig the pills. Maybe it's that sort of thing. I assume that these are things that will restore your health sort of like we have snacks and stuff at the moment. I imagine that will continue. Maybe this is a discussion for another video, but I wonder if it's going to be, if we're going to have a situation where your health restores naturally and then these sorts of things will speed it up a bit, or if you will need these, otherwise your health will kind of stay low. I imagine it's the former, just because that's the way it has been so far in GTA. Uh, and there was also these at the end, just wine and fruit. Again, I think fruit could probably probably be things that restore your health a bit. Wine, we can kind of already drink wine and beer and so on in GTA 5, which just gets you drunk, essentially. So I imagine that will continue. And there was something called a loot, a loot bag, which I assume is like a duffel bag. And we do actually see in the leaks, we see uh, Jason, I think, with a big duffel bag over his shoulder. Uh, so I wonder if this is going to be used to carry all this stuff, um, or if this is just something that will be used in robberies, like we do at the moment in GTA Online, for example, when you're robbing, robbing places, you, you need somewhere to put all the, the drugs or the cash or whatever, or if this is going to be a thing that you're going to need to carry around to carry all this other stuff, all these weapons and so on. And that kind of gets into the whole debate, which I don't want to go into in this video about will we be carrying these weapons around on us as we do in every other GTA game, just they're invisible, or will it be a bit more realistic where we'll need to, like in Red Dead Redemption 2, keep them stored in not our horse, but the, you know, boot of our car. Anyway, that's all that I noticed in the leaks. Did I miss anything? Please let me know. Uh, also, let me know what weapon you would like to see return or if it hasn't already been in a GTA game, what new weapon you would like to see introduced.